going to do like a real backpacking yeah. video. Yeah. So today is Monday, or sorry, Saturday, May 1st. It's a derby day here in Kentucky. And we decided to make our first backpacking trip of the year. No, uh, the year's over, almost over, and this is the first trip of the year. <laughs> so we, uh, we were going to come out last night, but it got a little cool. It got down almost to freezing. And we just don't have the equipment for that for backpacking. We'd have to stay too close to the car, so we decided just hold off and come out this morning. So we're gonna make just a, a one night of it, just an out and back. Should be a good time. Turn around, Henry. Show your pack. So we got Henry. Henry's really light today, but I don't know if you can see my reflection in the car there, I'm I'm loaded down pretty good. Or I can hold the camera and show it. <laughs> so uh, it's supposed to be a really really great weekend um, it's already 54 today and it's supposed to get up to around 70 uh, and then the low tonight's only supposed to be like around 54 again so it um, should be a beautiful weekend for backpacking you ready henry yes so we came out to the red river gorge this weekend so we decided to we're going to try heading out the coomer ridge trail down to where it runs into the rough trail. Um, it's down near Creek, and I think that's where we're gonna set up. Should be about two and a half miles. Yeah, that's what the sign says. Helps if you read. So we just went through the Coomer Ridge campground and started up the trail here. Uh, this is right at the cutoff for the Hidden Arch Trail. We went down there last year, so I don't think we're going to today. We may on our way back up tomorrow. We'll see how we're feeling. So yeah. we're making our way down the trail. I always get a kick out of this section of the trail right here. So here's the trail we are on right here. This is the rough trail or the uh, Coomer Ridge Trail. Right over here is the Hidden Arch Trail that cut off, I don't know, a couple tenths of a mile ago. So it breaks off all the way back there and then comes up right next to us for a while before it, it drops down to the actual arch. And then it circles around back up and connects back up with this trail. So that's always just kind of funny the way they, they do that. They do it. Kind of curious why they don't just start it right here. So we found our campsite. Took a little bit of time, but I think we ended up with a pretty good one here. Nice and big. The only problem is there's not a whole lot of trees for hammocks. I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to try to string some up there between those trees there. Uh, water is right down here. Trail is over on the other side of those rocks, so we're far enough away from it to be legal. A nice fire pit. Already busted out the chairs. We're gonna eat some lunch here and then start setting up camp and gathering up some firewood and just relax still. all set up. Got our hammocks over here. Uh, I'll deploy the tarp before it gets dark. Got our chairs, fire pit. There's my uh, water filtration system. I might show a little more about that when it comes time to filter some more. And the uh, creek's right down there. So unlimited water. That's the main reason why we came here. So we don't have to worry about packing it all in. So this is the first time I've had this DIY winter tarp out in the field. And it's looking pretty good. I was a little worried about the color when I first got it. It was I got it because it was on clearance. Um, and I wasn't too picky, but it actually looks really good out here in the woods. It, it blends in pretty well. So, so we've got the, the doors and there is way more than enough room inside for the for the two hammocks. This is the 1.1 Sil Poly XL from Ripstop by the Roll. Uh, so it's a full, 
I want to say 72 inches wide uh, on each panel there. So nice big tarp, um, more coverage, and a whole lot lighter than the Kelty Noah's Tarp 12 that I had been using previously. So this is the new water filtering system here. Last year we had been running the uh, Sawyer Micro, and uh, it just wasn't cutting it. Um, it would clog up on one trip. It was the creek was a little silty, and it seemed like I was having to filter half a liter and then stop and flush a quarter. Um, that's with using all my strength, squeezing it through. So I ended up picking up a an actual Sawyer squeeze, and then the uh, Cnoc bladder. And then rigging up this little gravity system here, uh, and it works great. As you can see, it just fills up the bottle, and then when it's done, I'll, I'll take it off, and I'll toss my bottle on there, and we'll keep going going. So this is a pretty cool invention here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see right now. It's actually a daisy chain made out of zingot, um, so that way you can wrap it around whatever size log. Um, it's kind of like a soft shackle where you just flip the knot, the knot through whichever one and it'll grab on. Uh, the only thing is this one's a little short, so I think I need to make an, either make an extension to carry or just make a, a whole new one. Uh, as you can see, this, this little tree here is, isn't very big. It's only about 7 or 8 inches in diameter, and even that's just barely enough to make it work. So, Like I said, I'll either make like a, a dog bone or just uh, make another one. It only took a few minutes to throw together. Rehydrated some chips and salsa for a snack before dinner. So now we're wrapping up the night here. It's about 8 o'clock. We already got a little fire going. I think Henry's about ready for bed. It's about his normal bedtime at home anyway, so. I'll stay up a little bit later. Or he will. Then we'll put him to bed and I'll probably sit around here the fire for a little bit longer before I head in. Cool, well, it's 9:12. We're all packed up. We're ready to go back home. Yep, we're heading home. Yep. That's where the hammocks were. Okay, you ready to go, Henry? You ready to go? Okay, ready. let's go. So we're on our way up the hill. We've already gone up. Oh, I don't even know how much we've got. This uphill is it's pretty brutal. So we've gone up a little section. We still got the, the long steep section up ahead, but went ahead and took a little water break. Henry took off his jacket. Why don't you show us what you have in your backpack, Henry? First I started out with my hammer, then a leaf and a beautiful rock, and a beautiful stone with some paint. Pull it out. Okay, this is what I take away so my strength. <laughs> 
So he said he wanted to bring the rock. I told him if he, if he carried it all the way up, he could bring it. So he's made it this far. So we'll keep going. Well, we made it back to the car. I think we made record time, actually. It says 3.28 miles um, all the way back to the car, and we did it in, looks like, two hours and 14 minutes, I think. So, about 1.4 miles per hour. It's definitely our fastest pace yet. So, it was a, it was a great trip. Went down, had a nice campsite. Also with a ton of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep, so we uh And I was in front the entire time. Yep. So we're gonna head on home. We got some plans this afternoon. And I can't and Levi, if you're watching this video I'm gonna hang you at the winery. <laughs> so. Okay. Tell him goodbye, Henry. Adios and see you next time and it's game time.